All right, so we can see that um, 4 plus 12 is 16, and 16 minus 16 is 0. So we know that negative 2 is a solution. And our other solution was 8. So we're going to plug that in. So 8 squared minus 6 times 8 minus 16 is equal to 0. So 8 squared is 64 minus uh, 6 times 8 is 48. And 64 minus 48 is uh, 16. Should be 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. All right, so you want to make sure that you check your uh, check your work every time. Okay, so let's get started with another one. So this time, I'm going to 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we take a half. We multiply it by this number here, the middle term, which is 6, and then we square the whole thing. Okay, So that would be 3 squared. All right. So half of 6 is 3, and we square it, and we get 9. 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to write 9x squared plus 6x, and then we have a blank here, and then plus 1. So we're plugging the 9 into the blank. Remember, we must put a negative 9 outside. All right. Now, I'm going to rewrite. Oh, and I made a mistake. Darn. Okay. Well, I guess it's good that I make the mistake and show you. There's something that I left out of this when completing the square. And I wasn't paying attention. But uh, we got to factor this 9 out. Okay, we got to factor out the 9, so I'm just going to have to start over on this. Sorry about that. It's okay, though. 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. So I'm factoring the 9 out. We have to get it in this form here. There must be a coefficient of 1 in front of the x. Plus, I'm just going to write it like this right now, plus 1 over 9 equals to 0. Now let's go ahead and rewrite this again. Simplify it. So um, this simplifies down to 2 over 3. Two, or, uh, 3 goes into 6 2 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. x plus 1 9. All right. Good enough. Then we're going to take uh, half of this middle term. So we write two thirds here and then we want to square it. So we end up with one third after simplifying this down a little bit. Squared becomes one ninth. Okay, so now, now we can't forget this 9 out here, even though it doesn't really make much of a difference in the long run. But, all right, x squared plus 2 thirds x, we have a blank, rewriting the end term. So the blank, so what goes in here? 1 ninth goes in here. It's always a plus here. So we have minus 1 ninth. All right, it's all set equal to 0. So we have 9, start a parentheses, we have x plus, then we take a half of 2 thirds, so a half times 2 thirds is just going to end up being 1 third squared, 1 ninth minus 1 ninth is 0, so we don't have to write anything there. All right. And then we're solving for this piece right here. Now you can multiply both sides by 1 ninth to get this 9 to go away. 